Hi, this is the next experiment to uh, check whether a Zener diode functions or not. So the Zener and the PN junction diode are more or less the same. Uh, the forward, uh, the only difference is that the Zener diode is going to conduct in the reverse bias. But for measuring purpose, since we have not applied any additional polarity, we can't get the uh, resistance in the reverse. So it will be same. You will be getting the same output like that you did for your PN junction diode, which was shown in the earlier video. So I'm going to measure the uh, multi uh, resistance using the multimeter. I'm going to change the multimeter range to say uh, 2000 ohms. I have kept it in 2000 ohms. Uh, the probe is as usual, black and red, black in the common and red in the range of measuring measurement of uh, resistance. So as uh, the diagram shows, we have an anode, we have a cathode. In Zener diode, again, there is a black strip. You can see the black strip over here. If I want to zoom it down. Right, you can see a black strip over here. Right, this is the cathode. The other end is the anode. Now let us see how this particular device is checked. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to take the multimeter. I have chose the resistance value. Now, as usual, take the red knob, put it in the anode, take the black knob, and put it in the cathode. Let us see the forward resistance. Right. The red knob over here. Black knob over here. So you can see that is a resistance flowing through, right, somewhere around, it's not stable. Okay, it is like flowing in between 780, right, 7, 7, 780, something like that. So you have some resistance in the forward, but if I change the polarity, there is no resistance. Resistance is infinity. So you can uh, do the same process for Zener and PN diode the same, right? Thank you.